Hey guys, Paul here with a quick project video. I got this Sima quadcopter for Christmas, um, and uh, the controller here takes four double A's uh, to power it. Now, I pretty much stopped using uh, primary batteries or double AA, A, triple A style batteries um, since most of my things use rechargeable or, you know, most of them actually lithium ion uh, batteries. So I uh, put together some a battery pack with some stuff I had around the house um, to power this and I just thought I'd kind of show you how I did that and uh, maybe it'll give somebody an idea for powering one of their things. So I had this cell phone battery from an old cell phone uh, and I connected that to this um, just a cheap single cell um, lithium charge controller uh, if this will focus a moment yeah it this has um, charge control and uh, dropout circuitry so th there's MOSFETs here that will m monitor the battery voltage and uh, cut the output um, voltage uh, when it drops too low and um, then I have a, a little boost converter here which I've set to five and a half volts um, which it could be six but five and a half worked fine so uh, that's to power this thing and then I just have the wires sort of wedged into the terminals there um, it's just a uh, soldered uh, multi-strand wire and just kind of flatten it a little bit with some pliers so anyway, it was a quick project um, that I did to be able to have um, rechargeable power for this quadcopter uh, remote control. And it's a pretty tight fit, but it does still fit with the uh, original um, battery cover. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So it fits better now than it did at first, but you just have to push down. And yeah, and you'd never know that's holding a DIY battery in there. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.